ಸೊ ನಾರ್ಮಲಿ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಆರ್ಕಿಟೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ವರ್ಕ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಆರ್ಕಿಟೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸೊ ವರ್ಕ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಆರ್ಕಿಟೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಇಯರ್ ಸೊ ಹೌ ದ ಸೆಕ್ವೆ ಹೌ ದ ಅವರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಹೌ ದ ಅವರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ರೈಟ್ ಅವ್ ಅವರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅಲೊಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ದಿ ವರ್ಕ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಸೊ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಮೆಕಾನಿಸಮ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮಚ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಬಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಾರಿ ಸೊ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ವರ್ಕ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಆರ್ಕಿಟೆಕ್ಚರ್ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ತ್ರೀ ಮೇನ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ದ ತ್ರೀ ಮೇನ್ ಕಾಂಪೌಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ತ್ರೀ ಮೇನ್ ಕಾಂಪೌಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವರ್ಕ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೇನ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಅವರ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಪಿ ಆರ್ಕಿಟೆಕ್ಚರ್ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ಅವರ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುವಲ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುವಲ್ ಯೂಸರ್ ಲಾಜಿಕ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸಿಂಗ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ವರ್ಕ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಮೇನ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಮೇನ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಮೇನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸ್ ದಿ ಅವರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸ್ ದಿ ಅವರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆರ್ಕಿಟೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಈಚ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ತ್ರೀ ಮೇನ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಈಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ವರ್ಕ್ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಈಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೈಲಾಗ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ದಿ ಸೊ ಡೈಲಾಗ್ ಡೈಲಾಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಮೇನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಡೈಲಾಗ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಪ್ರಿಟರ್ ಡೈಲಾಗ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಪ್ರಿಟರ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೇನ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸೊ ಅಬಾಪ್ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಬಾಪ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ದಿ ಡೇಟಾ ಬೇಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಬೇಸ್ interface here database interface here so these three are the main each and every work process these three will be the main process in the architecture these three will be in the main process in the architecture here so in the work process only within the one work process we have the so dialogues right we have the dialogue work process are the main which will handle the user law user request and everything here dispatcher will take will assign to the available dialogue work process here right so at the same time here let's start discussing about the work process here so let me draw one one small diagram you will get all those things here suppose for example this is the dialogue work process here right that's why i can say it as the work process right so within the work process we have as i mentioned work process contains the three components here ap and do i then da right so which means here so abap processor abap processor here then so dialog screen interpreter si normally we call it the screen interpreter here abap processor screen interpreter si and da okay dialog abap processor so dialog interpreter we will also call it as the screen interpreter let me write screen interpreter now only no one will tell this architecture it gets so it's a internal mechanism actually in my previous class also i have not explained this one here so work process architecture here right so dialog yes, yeah so here each and every work process here we have the inside mechanism called the above above processor then screen interpreter and di dialog database interpreter here so this will be managed by the one of the task handler this is the task handler here so say manager right task handler here task handler task handler here right this will be managed by the our task handler here so each work process we have right this is the diagram just excuse me for the diagrams i am not very much perfect in the diagrams so here what exactly happens work process i told each work process it contains the three main components here ap si di so here task handler right so normally what task handler will do here task handler it coordinates task handler will coordinate the task handler it will assign that task to your request here whenever you enter into the system the task handler it will coordinate the activities within the work process then 
it manages the loading unloading of the user context so beginning so each and everything communication between the dispatcher activities above printer printer it will it will perform all the task that's why task handler will assign the task to the your request then it will communicate between the dispatchers and uh, other activities it will communicate here whenever so whenever any user request comes whenever the user log into the system then so task dispatcher task handler what it will assign the task to your request it will communicate between the task uh, dispatcher and 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 uh, this interpreters it will communicate here so then as soon as you log in task handler will take it out will assign the task then it will communicate then it will assign the task to the your abap interpreter it will send to the abap interpreter so what the abap interpreter abap processor will do it will interrupt the your foregrounds it will interrupt your foregrounds here it will interrupt your foregrounds here interrupt means whatever the foreground you enter into it will interrupt your foregrounds then it will assign to the screen interpreter screen interpreter so the screen the screen interpreter it will interrupt the your screen logic what in the whatever the logic you mentioned su53 or sm51 whatever the logic you entered it will decode that one it will interrupt that code it will interrupt that code here then it will send it to the di database interface here so then database interface database interpreter what it will do it will it will communicate it will change the means it will it will write the sql program with understandable language you no need to write anything just enter the sm50 sm51 then automatically it will understand your language then it will it will allows it will allows access it is also access to the database tables repository object control the transaction everything will be done by the here everything will be there done here first whenever from gui so this is your sap gui here right this is the sap gui so whenever you click the sap gui immediately so whenever you click the sap gui the second step it will go to this the second step it will go to the so what will have a dispatcher right so dispatcher dispatch this is the dispatcher here this is the dispatcher here so this is the gui sap gui you you are in the sap gui whenever you double click it it will go to the dispatcher dispatcher it will maintain the, in the fifo order then then dispatcher in the memo before order then it will assign to the available work process right this is the work process gui dispatcher available work process here so work process we know only okay work process will process your logic that is only one thing your like work process will process the your dialogue work process will process the your request and so it will provide the output to the your take the request and process the your request that is only one larger word we know take the user request process the user request that we know right but inside that inside that inside that the work process we have task handler it will assign the task to the it will assign the task here task handler it will assign the task to so then assign to the abap interpreter abap interpreter it will process your logic then screen interpreter it will uh, process your logic then database interpreter so here it will convert into the database language then it will pull the data database interpreter then it will pull the this is the db right this is the db so here database interpreter will go and pull the so water or pull the data from your uh, database database this is the db let me write it here db then it will pull the data from the database level then it will give the response back to the give the response back to the again uh, give the response back to the again from here from here to here and again from here to here then again so then again it will give back to the user interface again right sequence wise it will assign to the user interface again so that is called the that is called the 
so how the work process will how we are getting we know only one thing here right just log into the sap system then dispatch are taken so then let me let me take it here log into the system if you click it what will happen from sap gui if you click it dispatcher will take and here it will assign to the available work process here then it will validate it here it will val dispatcher will validate it here so there is a user context here so there is a user context where so let me insert that is also you can understand simply here you can understand simply here user context small buffer is there user context here user context okay rolling user context means all the user credentials authorization so what will happen here whenever you click on sap logon page it will go to the dispatcher then so this will go to the dispatcher here then dispatcher will assign to the work process here right so dispatcher will assign to the work process here so the work process will check first of all in the so in the task handler it will check whether this user is valid or not okay this user is valid or not it will check here okay then user is valid or not then it will check now it is checking now user is valid yes this user is valid then so then you are logged into the system here step number five it will assign the task to your id here then it will assign the task id to your request then after that so you are you are giving the one logic like db0 to something we are giving here you are only entering the transaction code here right so or you are you want you are giving the some manager desktop you need so here what will happen here whenever you need some manager desktop something in sap level click it here in the back end immediately it will assign to the abap interpreter then so it will it will give to the screen interpreter then so database interpreter then it will it will database it will go in a database level it will pull the data it will pull the data then it will give give back to the same sequence here same sequence here then same sequence here where one copy of data will give it to the dispatcher dispatcher to here then one copy of data will be saved into the here in the user context role in memory same here it will save the one copy of data here one copy of data it will now we got the so after some minutes we got the so some after some minutes we got the data here right so same way same way here it will happen here it will show the some data then it will send back to the user here then the user will in the user screen he will get the screen here but inside that this will happen inside that this will happen here inside that this will happen here this is the work process handling so dispatcher classifies your request here then keep into the queue whenever you click on this button dispatcher take and keep into the queue here then the request will be assigned to the available work process here right in the work process also in the sub task handler will take your request then it will check whether user is valid or not then it will give the response back to the task handler oh this user is valid password entered correctly then the time task handler will assign the task then will assign to the so above processor screen processor database interrupter it will assign to the all the interrupt it will process the task here mainly it will understand your logic process the task and everything here then it will it will get the data from database level give the response back to the user that is what it will happen in the system here okay that is a sequence here so let me write from for your understanding purpose here so first request to go to the user after user then user gui then dispatcher then task handler task handler in the task handler we have so three types right so three so above interpreter above a above interpreter 
ஆர் ஏபி ஆர் ஏ அபாப் ப்ராசர் ஆர் அபாப் இன்டர்பிரிட்டர் ஸ்க்ரீன் இன்டர்பிரிட்டர் தென் டைலாக் ஸோ டேட்டா பேஸ் இன்டர்பிரிட்டர் தென் டாஸ்க் ஹேண்டில் வில் கோ அண்ட் டேட்டா பேஸ் லெவல் வில் புல் த டேட்டா தென் வில் யூ சேம் ரெஸ்பான்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் சீக்வன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஆக்டிவிட்டிஸ் வில் பி ஃபாலோ டு கெட் த டேட்டா பட் வி நோ டிஸ்பேச்சர் வில் அசைன் டு த ஓன்லி ஒர்க் ப்ராசஸ் திஸ் இஸ் கால் தி ஒர்க் ப்ராசஸ் இயர் திஸ் ஆல் வில் பி அவைலபிள் இன் த ஒர்க் ப்ராசஸ் இயர் சேம் ஒர்க் ப்ராசஸ் இயர் சேம் இயர் திஸ் இஸ் த ஒர்க் ப்ராசஸ் இயர் okay so db so here okay got it any questions anyone is it clear work process architecture how the work process will process your logic here normally we know in the front end we means everybody know how to open how to get all those things we know but here so but what exactly happening in the system who is processing our request work process which work process dialog in the dialog exactly what's happening so this will happen in the dialog got it any questions anyone it's clear no, right? sir. yeah so it's easy like uh, some people they may ask you that's why i explained this one as well sometimes i suppose you need in deep now normally it's not required but if you need in deep knowledge this is here okay so now 